Great. So while we're closing our laptops, I've given each of you a red dot, right? What I want you to do is look at this question. I want you to this question, the statement. I want you to rate your feelings about data quality. Whether you're frustrated about it, my institution would benefit, but I don't think I can do it. Whether you're inspired, yes, we can, and it will have a benefit. Whether you feel oppressed, I can't do it. You know, I just, I'm not capable of doing it. Or whether you're indifferent, you just don't care and you don't understand the, difference, the reason why. So before we start, I want you just to just put the dot up. Come around this way, because you've got the cables, and just put the red dot where you think, you feel about data quality, your feeling about it. You've got to... Yes, just, just your, your, your feeling, how you feel about it. Not, nothing rational, nothing what, what should be, not should be the right thing, but just how you respond to the issue. Mm. Yeah, wherever, yeah. <laughs> the, the real, the, where you really want to put it, Alex, not where you should put it. <laughs> Are you honest? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm capable of doing it. <laughs> Frustrated. I would like to do it, but I just can't. It would be benefit, but it's difficult to do it. Frustrated. Frustrated, yes. Frustrated. Frustrated. I'd like to do it, but it's difficult to do. Okay. All right, so everybody's put their little dot down. All right, don't know time if you're interested in putting one down. But we will get back to that, um, and I was very interested to see the bulk of people feel inspired um, with two outliers being frustrated about the fact that it's difficult to do and we need to do it, and indifferent, I just don't see the reason why. Uh, but we'll get back to those, those particular issues. Can I ask you a question? Um, who attended a training course, a discussion, a workshop, a conference? Who saw a video online or read a document on data quality? Great, so my job is done. <laughs> You, you've done it. <laughs> you, you know all this. Well, the session is not about that. You know, Tan asked me to talk about data quality and I was trying to place it within the context of institutional building. So this session is not about the principles or the methods or the tools. Those are more technical discussions which we could have on later on. The session is specifically around data quality and institutional building and, and how data quality can support the building and st strengthening of institutions. But can I ask a question now, seeing that all of you attended this training courses or the workshops or the discussions, the definition of data quality. How do you define data quality? Um, data, quality, data quality is clean data and suitable for use, for instance. Thank you. Clean data and suitable for use. Any other suggestions or comments? All right. There we've got. Via. Ah, let's start. Let's start this one. Thank you. I think data quality. It's a very difficult term to define uh, than fitness for use. So it's more about fitness for use. Uh, 
I think data quality is data with value, which is important. It gives uh, a, a, a lot of information. Yeah. It's important and it provides lots of information. Any other comments on that? All right. Uh, sorry, I forgot to introduce my assistant, my beautiful assistant, Fatima. <laughs> you know, town, town had this thing yesterday about, you know, the assistant or the ad the promotion. <laughs> so, <laughs> can I just get that? So, just to move the conversation along, we're saying data quality is clean data and suitable for use, supported and provide lots of information, issue around completeness, and it's fit for use. Town? Minimal bias. Minimal bias. Systematic deviation from true values. Yes. So that relates specifically to the issue of precision and accuracy. Documented lack of All right. All right, so Tom's added minimal bias, systematic deviation from true value related to precision and accuracy, and then the issue around the documentation or complete documentation to highlight uh, or you know, to identify quality. Can we agree that that captures the essence of what we're talking about when we talk about data quality, seeing that we've all been on training courses, workshops, had discussions? The issue, this is the concept. Now, seeing that we're midway through the training course, What's our understanding of institutional building? What have we gathered about institutional building or institutional strengthening? How would we define this? What, I what do we understand by institutional building? How would we define this term? Lucy? I would say it's the creation and creation of a home that carries the vision. Yeah. Any other? I want to add to that basically that the institution should be a custodian of the data. Not necessarily the owner it seems, but the custodian and the translator to the relevant stakeholders from core scientific data to wherever it's needed. Okay. I have a question. Does the institutional building uh, does the institutional building here re related to data quality? Is the answer you want? So I'm just looking at how do how we understand institutional building as a concept. Okay, uh, making a difference. Thank you. Um, so. What I've, what I've said is that, that the course is not about, or the, the session is not about, the, the, the technical stuff is about data quality and institutional building. So it's how, how does data quality help um, create institutions that carry the vision that would be able to help and do the work that we need to do? And as um, Chris said, how does it make a difference? So this is what we're going to focus on. And hopefully the outcome that we'll be working towards is how do we implement data quality strategies or approaches at our institutions so that we can basically make that difference that we'd like to see. All right, so th the process that we're going to follow is that I'll be asking you a lot of questions. I want you to write them down on this sheet, um, very clearly like this. And we're going to have discussions and then we're going to try and just make sure we come out with some clear idea of how to deal with this issue at institutional level. So the first question I have, and you can just raise your hand, is data quality an important issue for you at your institution? Is it an important matter for you at your institution? So there's people that doesn't worry about data quality, we have a number here. <laughs> we do. The next question is, if data quality is important, do you have bad or poor quality data at your institution? Everybody, I don't know, if you, do you have? 
You've got here? We have data. But you have poor quality data. Not, uh, totally not, not totally green. <laughs> so, what I want you to do now is, because you think data quality is so important, but you have poor data quality at your institution, I want you to write on this card, down on one one idea per card, two reasons or two ideas as to why you have poor quality data at your institution. You say it's important, but yet you have poor quality. So, what's the reasons? Take a minute or two and just write down two reasons, one reason per card, as to why you think you have poor quality data. Just a clarification. When we say we have poor quality data, that doesn't mean we also have good quality data. No, we'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. <laughs> okay, where's my notes? Once you've written down your two reasons, I just want you to turn to your colleague. You know, just two of you have a, have a, have a two, three minutes discussion about it. If you have your reasons, just discuss it with your colleague next to you. So you're not discussing your reasons. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Thanks. <laughs> Now I wonder you discuss your, oh, your comments. Uh -huh. okay. Can the two of you just discuss it so that you understand? Just uh -huh. If it's anything, <laughs> we discuss it. Just have a clue. So I have uh, one identity of clarity in the process of the process. Yeah. So someone's collecting it. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. To measure, yeah. Actually, I like this one because the thing is, very often you've got a very specific focus and you collect the data only for that. Yes. But it makes it, in a sense, relatively useless for, for another purpose. Yeah. yeah. You know, but yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid, as I said, mine is <laughs> really different. The thing is, what I would say is, I mean, just as you have people and people have problems, data will always have problems. So, what you have to do is you have to figure out the mechanisms to use it and where you can rely on it and what you want to do with it. You know, and you so get what it is this word? And do not have it? This is. Okay. Okay. I'll collect them now. It's fine. So okay. I just say you will always have it. And okay. you will always have it. Okay. Can I have your, <laughs> your comments? Yeah. Anything is there a lot of people? 
Thank you. Um, what I will try and do now is just to summarize your thinking on this particular issue. So the reason why we have poor quality data is mainly the responsibility of the data owner to resolve a uh, custodian may not have the right to, uh, the right to do so. So it's the responsibility of the data owner. The second one says data quality depends on purpose. One person's bad data may be sufficient for another person. Right? Data not clean because of a lack of process issues. We understand that. Too little capacity to resolve data issues. Lack of training on data quality. Is that the same? Related to that, eh? About similar. Different methods on data acquisition, not enough synergy. We have an, uh, just of what this means. There's different ways people collect data. There's not enough synergy on, on, in the methods. Lack of capacity. Lack of, su of supervision, monitoring. This is around the process. Um, because of limited funds, because of a lack of enough, uh, what's it, uh, personal or people dealing with it. So it's also capacity. Yeah, it could relate. It's, it's, let's just put it aside here. 